I'm Jalal Kazimpur, uh, Associate Professor at uh, DTU and one of the co-organizers of Summer School together with Professor Pierre Pinson and Professor Spiros Hajivalxinitis, who is in back. Uh, welcome to DTU, welcome to Summer School, DTU Summer School 2019. It's a great pleasure having you here. Uh, I hope that we will have together a very nice week. Uh, we will enjoy and at the same time we will learn a lot of things about data, data-driven optimization, data-driven analytics. And looks like that today uh, we have a very nice weather and I hope that it will continue the whole week, though uh, it's very uh, uncertain, I would say. So I really hope that we will have a good weather, especially on Wednesday afternoon when we will have a sailing. So let's see. And I hope you brought a proper jacket. Well, it's Denmark. We don't know. Maybe five minutes later it will be raining. Let's see. Uh, Anyway, uh, first of all, I would like to thank the three institutions who financially sp uh, sponsored the summer school. And to be honest, without their help, uh, the registration fee could be much higher than what it is now. So thanks to Mosaic and ESU ETP and RTA France, all of them, they, they helped uh, generously to the summer school. <coughs> Uh, also, Mosaic uh, provided two scholarships. Uh, so today, uh, later during the dinner, uh, we will announce the two awardees, and uh, then we will waive the registration fee for these two awardees. Well, we will see it later. Uh, what are going to talk about now? Maybe it, it will not be 40 minutes. Maybe it's uh, shorter. First, I will explain a bit about uh, who we are at DTU. Maybe it's good for you. You are curious to know who we are at DTU. Uh, maybe some of you, you have been already here at DTU. You knew about the DTU. But for those who has no idea about our activities at DTU, maybe uh, it would be fun for you to hear about. And I see that uh, many of you have posters. I will tell you soon what you will do with the posters. The, then I will uh, give some information about the history of the summer school. Actually, this is the fourth summer school. We started this uh, initiative from 2016. So this is the fourth one. We have it, we had it every year. And then uh, I will spend some, some time explaining uh, this summer school, uh, the goals, the agenda. I will announce a bit uh, some practicalities and then you can ask any questions that you like, okay? Well, uh, first about uh, DTU. Uh, like a year ago or two years ago, uh, the head of our center, Professor Jakob Ostegat, asked uh, one cartoonist to come and uh, draw the history of our center. Our center is named uh, uh, Center for Electric Power and Energy, in abbreviation CEE. So there might be a similar story in your country or your institution. The story is that like uh, 20 years back, uh, around 2000 or 2001, uh, the research on power system was very inactive in Denmark, almost dying. But at the same time, Denmark had some ambitious uh, targets to get 100% penetration of renewable, uh, renewable energy by two, uh, 2050. So it means that to be able to, to reach this goal, we need to have a very active research community. So at that time, uh, our system operator plus uh, some companies, they decided to put uh, money on the table and then uh, they asked uh, our head, uh, Jakob Ostega, to start building uh, our center. And this, then the center is started growing, growing, growing by the time. And now, uh, in 2019, uh, the center is almost like 100 people. Not all faculties, of course. Uh, we have like 20, 25 faculties. And the rest are PhD students, postdocs, uh, and of course, admin. Uh, that, that's the story we had uh, in Denmark about the power systems research, and it's now very active in Denmark, working not only in power systems, but also in total in energy area. It could be power, uh, gas area, heating, uh, hydrogen, or any other kind of energy carrier. Um, a few uh, minutes, I mean, uh, some descriptions about our center. As I told you, it's uh, abbreviation CEE. Uh, it's established in 2012, this center itself, and we have, I mean, DTU itself has three campuses, uh, Lumbu, which is here, uh, Rizo, 
and another one which is mostly for teaching, but our research activities are mostly uh, based in Lumbo campus here and Rizzo. Um, you will have a chance to go to the other uh, campus on Wednesday. So Wednesday we will have uh, a talk there, one of the lectures, and also we will have all the social events uh, afternoon in the Rizzo campus. So you will have a chance to see the other campus on Wednesday. Uh, well, uh, as I said, we are like uh, 100 people and uh, well, we have five groups within the center, and uh, I can uh, give a few descriptions about that. One of the groups, they are working mostly on components and equipments, uh, I don't know, like transformers, cables, whatever. Uh, the other one, they are working mostly on distributed energy resources. Uh, we have very nice uh, microgrid facilities at other campus in Rizzo campus. Uh, also, uh, this group is very active with EV research, um, what kind of services the EVs can, can provide to the system. Uh, the other one is uh, energy system management. Uh, they are also very active in demand response and any kind of uh, management of the system. Uh, then we have uh, electric power systems group. They are mostly active in kind of traditional power system research on dynamics, stability, and uh, transmission system stuff, and so on. And the last group is the one uh, organizing this summer school. It's uh, Energy Analytics and Market Abbreviation ELMA. I will uh, give a few descriptions about ELMA. Oh, before that. Uh, the three main research pillars that we have at DTU, they are digital energy solutions, interconnected energy systems, and optimized electric energy technologies. With the first one, we are mostly uh, stressing uh, on data and data-driven optimization, data-driven analytics, which is exactly the focus of this summer school. Also, we focus on uh, ICTs, uh, HPCs, and so on. The other one, the other research plot that we have at D2 is mostly interconnected energy systems. We are talking about energy, not only power. So it could be the interconnection of power, natural gas systems, heat systems, and so on. Also, we are talking about the interconnection of power systems, like in different areas, different countries, like through HVDCs or so on. Uh, my colleague Spiros is very active uh, in that research. Also, of course, we are active in research on equipments, on components. It could be microgrids, it could be EVs. Uh, in the lunchtime, which is in a different department, you will see uh, our EV lab there. Also, in our other campus, we have uh, some, some very nice uh, lab facilities. We'll see if you will have a chance to visit them or not, depending on the time. But yeah, so also it's one of the uh, research areas that uh, we are working on it. Uh, ELMA group, one of the five groups of our center. I think this is the most updated uh, faces of the current members of the ELMA group. Uh, uh, it, uh, we have three faculties. Uh, first, uh, Professor Pierre Pinson, who is the head of this group. You may know him by name or uh, by face, I don't know. But uh, he's not here today. He will join summer school on Thursday. Uh, then Professor Spiros Hajubhaslitis uh, in, in the back. Uh, he's associate professor and myself. Uh, then uh, we have, I think, 16 uh, junior, I will say, members, including the postdocs, uh, PhD students, visiting PhD students, and RAs. And the very good thing about our group, I think, uh, is that it's very international. We are from uh, 12 different nationalities in the group. And always we are so happy hosting, I don't know, new visiting, scholars, new visiting PhD students or so on. I think it's, it's, it's a really, really uh, good idea. And we had good experience so far. Uh, this, uh, uh, well, uh, all the faces here, they helped a lot with the organization of the summer school. So I had the chance to introduce the summer school, but of course I'm not the only one. I had the little contribution, but uh, the most of the credit goes to my all my colleagues in the Elma group. Uh, the, the last things about us, about Elma group, is our research activities in, in, in Elma group. Uh, we are mostly focusing on power flow analytics, the systems, energy markets, and data-driven analytics, which is mostly the focus of this summer school. So, uh, for example, uh, Spiros is very active in convex relaxation of ACOPF. Uh, the last summer school, we had very nice talks uh, about uh, ACOPF relaxation, tutorials, and more advanced stuff. And if you uh, Google it or if you search it on YouTube, you can find 
all the videos there by Spiros, by Professor Pascal Van Hent Hendrik, and so on. Uh, also, we are working on data-driven optimization, especially for ACOPF. Still, it's what uh, Spiros mostly is working on in the Elva group. Then, uh, in the systems area, we are working a lot on how to uh, characterize the uncertainty by robust optimization, stochastic programming, recently distributionally robust optimization. And you will have a chance to hear more about DRO by uh, Professor Joanna Matthew uh, tomorrow, I guess. So we are also working on game theoretical aspects. It's not very focused of this, this summer school and behavioral economics. About the energy markets, we are also working hardly by Pierre, myself, Eligel, on uh, again the market design, how we can add a huge penetration of, of renewables in the market and how should we redesign the markets. And also we are working a lot on data-driven analytics, mostly by my colleague Pierre. Uh, about forecasting, data-driven optimization, and even the next, the, the keynote speaker will be Professor Dahle, who is not here yet. Hopefully, he will arrive soon. We will talk. He will talk about the data market, which is, I think, it's the it's a something that's coming in the power systems, and sooner or later, we will hear a lot about the data market, data training, uh, trading of the data in the power systems. This is what I think. Anyway, uh, let's focus on the summer school first. The history. So, um, as I said, we started the summer school in 2016. Um, so, that one, the topic was, I mean, mostly focused on uncertainty in electricity markets. And we had a chance to host 48 participants from all over the world. Uh, and we had 10 lecturers. Uh, I remember Professor Shahid Apur, Professor Flo, and uh, Professor Anthony Papavasilio, and so on. So all the slides, not videos, unfortunately, on that time, are available at, uh, in this link. Then in 2017, we continued uh, organizing the summer schools by Elma Group. And again, mostly it was uh, focusing on optimization in power systems. And uh, the number of participants uh, grew a bit to, to 56. And then we had 10 lecturers. Uh, I remember it was uh, Professor Ben Hobbs, uh, Professor Dan Molzan, uh, uh, Josh Taylor, and, and so on. And again, you can find the slides, not videos there. And it was mostly focused on ACOPF, on market design, and this kind of stuff. Then last year, uh, we focused on modern optimization, again, the optimization. So then we had 53 participants and uh, eight lecturers. So the good thing is that, okay, the slides are available here. Also the videos, I will tell uh, the link in the next slide. So uh, we had Professor Daniel Kuhn, for example, or Pascal Van Hentenrich, uh, and they did a great job, and we learned a lot from them. Well, um, we tried to videotape all the lectures, also including the, the, uh, the lectures in this summer school and we, we publicly share them on YouTube. So if you uh, search uh, DTUCE lectures, Optimization Energy Systems, so far you can see this. So this is the, all the videos of the last summer school. I think it's fun to, to, to watch them. It's, uh, you can learn a lot of things. They are mostly tutorials. So it's really good for you if you would like to start uh, working on ACOPF relaxation or this kind of things. It's a really good idea to watch them. Uh, recently, we had a five-day course uh, on advanced game theory in power systems by Professor Uday Shamba. Uh, it was in May. So all the lectures now uh, are online, so just, just check them. And if you are curious about advanced game theory, just watch them. Also, we have uh, another playlist for individual talks. They are just talks, not, I mean, more advanced than tutorials. But for example, there you can find talks by Professor Stephen Lowe or Jan Hiskens or so on. Anyway, about this summer school, uh, well, they, the, key, the key word for this summer school is data and how can we use data for better uh, uh, work with, with better performance of the energy systems or power systems. So it could be data-driven analytics or data-driven data -driven optimization and the data market that you will hear more uh, about it today. So today we have two keynote uh, lectures by Professor uh, Munzer Dahle and Professor Dolores Romeo Morales. 
Um, they will give you uh, a big picture of uh, why uh, data is important, not specifically in power systems, in a, in a bigger uh, perspective. But uh, from tomorrow, we will have more focused uh, um, topics on data-driven optimization and analytics. So uh, this year, we had a chance to get like 100, nearly 100 uh, applications. And as you know, the applications was just uh, some motivation letters, not CVs. So we tried uh, uh, to do our best to find, to pick the, uh, the applications which are, I mean, most relevant to, to our uh, summer school. It's just, you know, uh, if someone is working on electric machines or whatever, of course they are very competent, but I mean, the topic was a bit irrelevant to this summer school. So we tried to do our best to pick uh, the most relevant uh, applications. So uh, we reached our maximum, 60 uh, sets. Uh, yeah, and the good thing is that if you uh, check the list of participants, you will see that uh, you, you, you came from all over the world, from Europe, from China, from US, from South Africa, even from Middle East, from Saudi Arabia. So again, welcome. Welcome to the summer school. I, I really uh, hope that you, you enjoy this, uh, this week and the summer school. Uh, so uh, I introduced the uh, Monter and Dolor and Dolores. So tomorrow uh, morning uh, we will have uh, Professor Joanna Matthew, who sits in back with uh, Spurs. Uh, I think she will talk about PRO, distribution robust optimization, and then we will have uh, uh, Dr. Andrea Simonetto from IBM, and then Dr. Uh, uh, Saverio Bolognani from ETH. And the last two days, uh, the teachers will be. Yeah, DTU faculties, uh, Pierre, Espirus, and myself. Okay, let me uh, give you a bit of practicality, some more information about the agenda of this summer school, and you are welcome to ask uh, your questions. So today, I hope you enjoyed the reception at Dan Hostel. Uh, I was there, and I think most of you were there, so uh, good, it was good. Uh, I, I hope you already uh, find some friends, some future collaborators in the reception. And if not, I'm pretty sure that you will do it during this week. Uh, so after my introduction, uh, perhaps we will have a very short break till uh, 9.45, uh, the time that Professor Monterdale will arrive and uh, uh, will give us uh, uh, a keynote uh, talk about the data market. Uh, then uh, we will have lunch. For the lunch, we will go to the other building. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, it, it's a different building, but close, like five minutes walking. Uh, it's, it's the main building of uh, DTU Electrical Engineering, not here, the other one. Uh, then uh, afternoon, we, we will be here again for the second uh, keynote talk by Professor uh, Dolor Dolores uh, Romeo Morales, talking again about the opportunities and challenges of mathematical optimization for data science. I guess, again, it will be a broad uh, perspective, not only focusing on power systems. So today, we will have a poster session starting from 4 o'clock. So what you can do is that uh, during the lunch, you can take your uh, posters. So you will see that in the lunch area, we will have a lot of boards. So please uh, put your uh, posters there. Uh, please don't uh, uh, take uh, your posters there. Please leave it there by the end of the summer school. If you have a chance to talk about your topic with your colleague, it's easy that you can go there and using your poster, you can explain your research talk to to us or to your friend or whatever. So please leave it by end of the summer school and then you can take it when you go home. And then uh, seven o'clock, we will have dinner again in the, uh, in the lunch area. Um, so we will have a chance to announce the two uh, Mosaic Scholarship Awardees during the dinner. Uh, it's a bit compact uh, agenda for today, but okay, let's see how it goes. Uh, tomorrow, first, every day we will start with a recap, 10-15 minutes recap, either by myself or Spiros, on what we learned the previous day, okay? Then tomorrow, uh, uh, Joanna uh, will uh, give a tutorial on data-driven distribution robust optimization, including hands-on exercise. So every talk from tomorrow will have its own exercise, right? And this exercise is something complementarity for, uh, with, with the teaching. So I hope that these exercises will help you to better understand the, the content of the lecture. 
you can work on it yourself and then I think you will have a chance to check uh, your exercises with your peers and then uh, I think the speakers, the lecturers will give you some hints about uh, how to solve it and hopefully you will find your mistakes if you have any. Uh, well, I guess the most of the exercises or some of them will be uh, some coding stuff, maybe on MATLAB. So I already received some email from some of you that we don't have MATLAB or CVEX or whatever. Okay, uh, that's fine. You can, you can work on it with your friends, for example, right? Or you can have a chance to work on it later. So, you know, uh, the, the main goal is just to learn it and to absorb all the content of the lecture. So just in case, I mean, I, I strongly recommend you to first work on the exercises individually and then with your friends. But in case you don't have MATLAB, for example, uh, on your laptop, that's fine. Just, just work with, with your friend. Then lunch. Uh, okay, I forgot to tell you. Today in the poster session, you will have a chance to select the best two posters. So then these uh, two uh, best posters, the, the, the two person, they have a chance to give a talk for half, a, half an uh, hour above their talks on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Not Wednesday, Tuesday and Thursday. So just in case you are not ready for giving a talk, that's fine. Uh, you can tell our friends, uh, I mean the poster organizer, you, that, well, uh, you, you would like to have your poster, but you are not ready for giving a talk. So then you will not be included in the, post, the best poster uh, selection process. Okay, is it clear? Well, uh, so yeah, that's it. The, the first uh, best poster, uh, the person will give uh, her or his talk on, on Tuesday. And then we will have a talk by Andrea Simonetto from IBM, including a hands-on exercise. Uh, then Wednesday, uh, we will go to the other campus of DTU in Rezo. So uh, we will provide uh, uh, transportation from Dan Hostel. I will give you more details later. So you can take the bus and then we, we can go to the other uh, campus at Rizzo. So first we will have a talk by uh, Saverio from ETH. And then afternoon it would be lunch, barbecue, tent, blah, blah. And then we will have a chance to go for Viking sailing. So you will sail on Viking ships. And I really hope that the weather will be good. Who knows? It's, it's uncertain. Let's see. Uh, then uh, uh, Thursday, again, we'll be here. Ah, Professor Monterdal is here. So um, it will be a talk by Pierre Pinson, mostly based on machine learning and statistical learning, I guess, for forecasting uh, purposes. And then uh, afternoon, uh, Spiros will give a talk about data-driven optimization. Hi, Monter. Good. And the last day, it will be mostly me uh, uh, talking and teaching about distributed optimization, distributed data-driven optimization. And it will be uh, a, a simple tutorial on different distributed optimization techniques. First, starting uh, how to know that uh, optimization problem is decomposable. We can solve it by distributed optimization. And I'll give some uh, tutorials about vendor decomposition, Lagrangian, relaxation, ADMM, and so on. And then finally, we will conclude uh, the summer school by Spears. Okay, uh, perhaps some of you, they are, you are keen on getting some ECTS, 2.5 ECTS. ECTS is European credits, I would say, uh, for PhD students. So in case you are keen, uh, what you can do is that by end of August, you need to write individually a very nice comprehensive report on all six exercises. Right? So we will have six exercises, each by one of the lecturers from tomorrow, not today. So you need to write a very nice comprehensive report uh, on all six exercises. Then you will send us to, to us, to me, or Spiros, and then we will go through your report, and then we will issue for you 2.5 ECTS. Okay? So for this is our website. You already, you're already familiar with this website. Uh, all the uh, talks, the, the slides will be available just before uh, the talk. I think this, the slides are not available. Fabio, where is Fabio? Fabio should be right here. He's, uh, he's the uh, organizer. Uh, I mean, he's updating always our, our website. 
and we will upload the, the slides just before the talk. I think just it's the case of Joanna that she will upload the slides afterwards. Maybe, I, well, there are some answers for the exercise that she likes that to hide it from you when you're working on that, and then we will upload the, the slides after later on. Good, that's it. So uh, remember the main uh, idea is to learn something while enjoying uh, the week in Denmark. Also, who knows, maybe you can create some friendships, some collaborations, and I don't know, in 20 years from now, you will, you will see each other in some conferences, in some institutions, and you can establish, I don't know, long-term collaborations together. So yeah, enjoy the summer school. Thank you.